Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the continuing adventures of Shadowblade. As he treks through the dungeon, where last we left off, I had uh, wandered Pan some more, picked up a couple more runes. Uh, I think one more rune. The rune of... Huh, this is concerning. Probably the magical glowing rune. Yeah, th one of these two. And uh, I already have the five basic runes and the demonic runes. There's two more Pan runes left. That would put me up to ten. Then there's Tomb, and that's 11, and then there's the four Hell Runes. I don't know if I'm actually going to do all of that for the extended endgame for this guy. I might just call it the quits early. Might not. I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of at the point where it's like, I know I could do a full 15 runer, and I don't really know that I want to, because it'll just take a long time, and that's all that I'd be doing with it. Um, I'm waiting for the contamination to, to wear off, and just using my dragons to tank for me in the meantime. And the best thing about tanking dragons is they're they're a pretty f a ferocious offensive force as well. All right, so firestorm, 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 firestorm. Pretty effective. Um. Yeah. Uh, in other news, Pinkie Pie has been uh, uh, started, and I'm sure those of you who are familiar with the MLP series were looking forward to that. Well, now it's here. For those of you unfamiliar with the MLP series, yeah, it might be worth checking out. It'll be a short. I'm fairly confident that Pinkie Pie, the moment I find a Zom altar, is going to be one of my shorter lived runs, simply because Zom is so goddamn unforgiving, and I am so damn inflexible. Maybe not relative to bad players in this game, but certainly relative to players uh, who are who consider themselves good. I'm among the least flexible of good players that I know. And that's not a good thing. Uh, it is a sign of skill in this game to be a flexible person. I'm not. Ooh, I got the dig spell. I got the dig spell. And I need spell levels to memorize it. Scroll of Amnesia. Please tell me it's on my list of please pickups. It is. So I just haven't found it yet. Uh, I'm carrying with me a few books I can potentially use. I can read the Book of Unlife. I can read the Book of Stalking. Okay, so the only thing I can unmemorize right now that would give me the levels I need is Freezing Cloud. Uh, I don't want to get rid of Freezing Cloud. I want to get rid of Fireball and Delayed Fireball. They're useless to me. Um, relatively speaking, useless to me. Okay, this one of digging and that one of digging put together are all the dig I will ever need. Uh, show me the weights, please. Let's ditch the staff. Of, the rod of ice. No. I might one day be like, shit, I have zero mana. And that's the day that I will use my huge stack of, cure, of potions of magic. Yes, we're getting rid of that. Make sure that I have an adequate number of dragons. And we'll just get back to Firestorm. But yeah, uh, Bolt of Fire is marginally useful to me. Fireball is useless with a capital U useless to me. Uh, since I use Firestorm in its place and it doesn't do enough damage alone. The only thing it's good against is crowds of medium-sized enemies. But you know what? If I can't instantly Firestorm those crowds, I can usually afford to wait a couple turns to channel mana. And I intend to have dragons with me at all times who can help me tank the difference. So, whatever. I'm not exactly rushing on using it up a uh, potion of restore abilities since I have decent spell casting in all my key spells. Uh, dragons are up to 20, which is enough summoning for dragons IMO. Uh, let's switch over to fighting and leave that as my primary skill to train. Let's also use up the remainder of my ash piety transfer from a uh, stabbing. Uh, and put that into fighting as well. I have clearly made uh, said goodbye to my past life as a stabber. In we go. This is a special area of pandemonium, and an especially difficult one. This is the realm of the holies. This is going to be interesting. There's a good chance of finding a pearl dragon, and by extension, a pearl dragon armor while I'm here. Um, there's a good chance of getting hurt very badly for being in lich form. 
it would behoove me to be incredibly careful. And to always make sure that I have ways out of every situation. You'll notice that I'm summoning a truly massive number of dragons. It's not an unrelated reason. I just want to be very safe as I proceed. But uh, you guys are... This is Holy Pan. It is one of the coolest areas in Pandemonium. I wish there were more floors like it. And uh, we're going to take it out. Yes, you can fire on the Clue Silver Dragon. Anything but firing on me is fine. Okay, the Shining One dealt a little bit of damage, but nothing truly that terrifying. And that looks like there's an enemy behind the gate. So we'll take a step back, and then hit it. And then hit it. Okay. Uh, while we're here, our big goals are going to be to acquire a pearl dragon armor. Or at the very least, a pearl dragon hide that we can enchant into a full-on pearl dragon armor. Not necessarily because it's the best armor, but because I want it. Need it, want it, want it, need it. Uh, we'll also go ahead and enable some side-grade training into armor while we're at it. And, uh, untrained short blades, I guess. Transfer knowledge from short blades into armor. You know, just finish the job of forgetting about every skill that I no longer use. Or rather, no longer benefit from. I might, you know, use it if it's there, but I don't need it. I lack recall, which means I cannot afford to just take for granted that I have a swarm of dragons somewhere. If I'm going to be relying on those dragons for anything, I need to make sure they're nearby. Okay, so far so good. Um, as you can see, Holy Pan is uh, populated by angels, Shidu, uh, all manner of shiny creatures. I'm not going into too much depth because uh, I've already done a Holy Pan run in the past that y'all were able to see how I approached it. Just for the love of God, kill it. And then we'll use Animate Dead to instantly butcher the corpse. Kill that, whatever it is. Butcher the corpse. There's nothing quite like re Animating Dead on a... I'm kind of tempted to stop the video right now. Because this is the coolest place. And I was just planning to do a ho-hum run. So I'm not giving this the drama that you guys deserve to see with me cackling as I as I am the Spriggan that taunts the gods, you know, striking down their holy creations while while being an undead lich and laughing at their pitiful reprisals. Okay, so maybe I am doing a good job role playing. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's how I like to approach these floors. I I really get into it, and right now I'm just here playing a game very tactically, very blasé. That looks like that reaper probably came from the Zot Trap. In any event, we are working our way into the corner here. My assumption is that there's going to be a pearl dragon nestled away at one of these ends or something. I'm probably also going to get some cure mutation potions out of this. If I do, I'll be sure to make use of those too. Okay, that's several more dragons. Give me flight, and I will fly on over. There's the pearl dragon that I was worried about. My perfect stealth lets me see it before it sees me, and get off of a couple free firestorms. Before landing. No, it didn't leave a corpse. Should be guaranteed to leave a corpse. I don't know. Whatever. I was really gambling that that wouldn't, wouldn't be the one I got a corpse on. I wasn't gambling, though. I mean, it's not like I, I put anything up as collateral or risk. I was going to kill it no matter what. Okay. Through the wall. I'm just digging myself a new passageway. 
and you can see lots of enemies showing up on my ash radar. Also, the halos tells me that there's a decent chance that if I firestorm on the haloed uh, allies, I will hit more enemies. Flight has ended. Enemy is sighted. Of course, I have no problem firing on my own. That could potentially hit me. That one I should be fine. Uh, don't crystal ball until you've gotten up to at least 10. Better. That's why you haven't been dying. You're one of those I don't like to die types. <laughs> you know what? We'll kill everything that isn't a, a phoenix, and then we'll kill a phoenix. And then we'll raise the phoenix, and it won't come at us again. Blew up the phoenix in such a way as to most likely not leave a corpse. That's a cool trick. If you uh, use Orb of Destruction on a phoenix, it's very likely to explode, and as a result, it won't leave a corpse. Ashen Zarya is warning me about holies. That's cute. Of course, they're almost dead now, so... The threat really is only minimal. Oh, good lord, that hurt. They weren't kidding about golden flames being painful. Do you got a spare heal wand? I do. Let's just use a spare heal charge. Fix all this. Wow, that was a lot of health. Was it just me or was that more than 20? Definitely felt like more than 20. Could just be that my max health is so low that it felt like more, but I don't know. It's possible that my massive evocation skill helps with the heal wand's usage. I doubt it, though. Okay, that's a lot of enemies, a lot of very powerful holy enemies. I'm just going to go ahead and make use of my escape route and use that to make myself a little cabal of dragons re-enable flight and we'll approach the holies again I don't know if we need to shout for them but yep they're, they're on their way keep them at bay with firestorms Things are dying, that's all that I care about. Not to mention that my fire vortex is taking damage, which implies there's something there to damage it. Alright, that could be enough. We'll find out. Let's go ahead and open a bigger hole. I forgot to stay in lich form and was temporarily without resist mutations while glowing. Good news is, I was not punished for this mistake. But it's important to identify when you're making mistakes instead of just being like, I'm playing fine, and not even realizing that you're screwing up. You should know you're screwing up when you're screwing up. And then, you know, take steps to not do it anymore. I'm making so much noise, I've probably woken up the entire level. You know what? Sick him. I just want you all to take him the hell down. Thank you. Sick him. Sick him. What is this? Just a plus two wizard's hat? And I have on a plus one MR hat? Yeah, I'll keep my MR hat. Thank you. It's not relevant, but it makes me feel better. I would rather have a little bit of an MR boost than a plus one to AC. Or a reasonable MR boost than a plus one to AC. I consider both valuable and therefore would put more stock in having that than that. Okay, there are always more of you guys, because I am literally attacking heaven, breaching the doors of heaven with as a lich with fire. See, and if I was playing this as a pure stabber, I would be the thief that stole his way into heaven. 
Okay. More of you assholes. Kill them. Kill them. We'll get some more dragons. You just kill the ones that are there. Okay, my intelligence has actually been blown to hell. Um, so it would actually probably behoove me to cure out of it now. Let's pull back. Give me the control blink out of this mess. Okay. Switch out of lich form, restore ability, switch into lich form. And you're an Apis. I don't know what an Apis is, but I do know you're dead now. Okay. That's a good quarter of the floor down, and... Uh, Plenty more to go. Well, maybe about a third down and plenty more to go. Let us work our way into the inner temple. As you can see, there are three basic temples. Uh, there's this one over here. This one is the entrance way, and this is another temple here. I guess that's a temple, too. So three basic temples and an entryway. And uh, I am going to take out the big temple. Oh, shit. That thing, the Seraph, I believe, is one of the strongest enemies Holy Pan has to offer. So naturally, he is somebody I am giving a wide, wide berth to. Giving a lot of respect. I will only attack him when I am at my best. Lots of magic, decent battleground, no fear of being flanked, and a decent sized dragon of ward. For the timing, let's take out these things that are casting auras over me. Whatever they may be. Play it nice and safe. Alright. Crossbow wielding angel. Because the lord knows that's what angels wield for their weapons. I don't know. When I think of an angel in the... Not religious, but the western RPG. Or east... Or sorry, the Tolkien-esque RPG context... I tend to think of them as divine warriors with haste and beating down on you with rushing down on you in columns with, with furious wings, beating you down with shining partisans and uh, halberds and other lightly light, not light, heavy, uh, holy, shiny weapons. Mennas would be it. Wow, you blocked a lot of those. And apparently it was an orb of reflection, too, or something of reflection, too, because I took a lot of damage. That's that's pretty, that's something else, man. Nicely done. I mean, you're going to die and all, but uh, I'm going to be impressed with that, about how much damage you dealt. Okay, it's time for me to get out of the way. Let the dragons do the work. Yeah, I could have done this without ever having gone conjurations. It would have been so much easier. But no, I stuck Conjurations until I'd done a 3 runer, and that's that's pretty much it. Wall of Counts in the end. Okay. Uh, repel Missiles. Lich Form. Wow, you guys just keep coming in with my ass now, don't you? Keep my mana maxed. Let us once again approach the Chamber of the Seraph, taking great pains to make sure I don't drain my mana. Assuming that's him, and it is... We are now going to just ever, uh, you know, pummel the ever-living shit out of him with dragons. Let's see how he handles it. Okay, it looks like he's almost dead. Yes, that's correct. Okay, and we blasted him to pieces. Got full MP back as a result. We'll get to work on the rest of these riffraff shortly. Gotta love it when you can call angels riffraff. Amulet of Rage and Sea Invisibility. Well, one of those is inborn and the other is useless. But there's a lot of good stuff on this square, including fire dragon armor. Which I must yet again consider wearing. On account of the fact that I lack fire resistance and... Uh, 
need better armor. Close the door against whatever else would have come. It looks like I'm about to get... Okay, no, you know what? Just blink me. Presumably it will blink me the correct direction. Okay, so far so good. There's clearly enemies that are just dying to get at me, and I'm dying to get at them. Let's get some dragons online. And, uh, join the party. Oh, come on, man. Dissipate. This stuff takes forever to go away. Let's see if we can't get rid of everybody who would drop holy... Holy gas on me. Holy gas bomb! Man, I miss getting mana refund on kill. Vehumet is so much nicer for just sheer power in the endgame. I was wondering where the uh, extra status is after Lich, and then I realized that the extra status I was looking for was uh, low. Because <laughs> I'm so used to it being on there. Or contamination. That's interesting. I can go plus 5 int, plus 4 int to have almost 40 int. No, 30 int. Yeah, forget it. It's not worth it then. I'd rather keep a ridiculous evade count. Okay, we got ourselves a couple books, including the ability to forget some very important basic spells. The ability to forget a spell that I actually will forget regeneration is not important to me anymore. I should always have the ability to... Uh, I should always have the ability to use my wand. Animate skeleton, as much as it's useless, I still technically use, so it's out. Um, what else can I drop? <laughs> How many spell levels do I need? One. The hell. Turn on spellcasting till I have that one. I'll use it to, uh, to memorize dig, and then I can drop a wand of digging along with this book. Dig just makes me more survivable by a lot, and gives me a reasonable increase in utility and speed, even during the ascension. Alright, so, we've taken out TSO's area. This leaves Elivalin, the healer god, and Zin, the purity of form god, because lord knows racial purity is something that's a uh, that belongs in heaven. Uh, in, in more serious terms, I should be able to... I should really be able to acquire uh, some potions of cure mutation from uh, destroying Zin's area. And I'm beginning to despair of my chances of getting that pearl dragon armor I so badly wanted. But, uh, I don't know, maybe there'll be another pearl dragon or something. I see a monster nearby. How about that? Will that help him? Gotta love it, man. Ashen Zari warns me to shoot around corners, so I do. Because Firestorm lets me shoot around corners. Boom. Boom. Mm-mm, bitch. Okay, it's a silver star. Among the most dangerous of enemies. And I'm out of mana. Among the most dangerous of conditions. So... Get out the door, channel, start summoning dragons. Man, all these miscasts are bringing in like abyssal creatures. Not that it matters. Well, it looks like we actually won the engagement, or at least had a tie, because I was able to push right past. Uh, okay, I didn't remember that there was going to be restores, that's nice. Um, let's lose anything that I have in the way of healing potions, or heal wounds potions. Actually, I can use those, can't I? Heal wounds... Oh, that, that put me right back to where I want to be. No mutation, potion damage. Alright, ditch the rest of the heal wounds potions, and uh, continue.
take out the trash. Okay, and there's there's what I was looking for, the cure mutation potions. Okay, now there's the part that I was looking forward to. I have a potion of mutation, and it gave me large cloven feet, partially thin metallic scales, and poison. None of these that I actually want, but none of them are negative, so I'll hang on to them. I could have cured out of them if they were anything truly bad. Uh, I do need to lose more weight because I am, I don't know, in a condition... Uh, let's lose the Wand of Teleports. And let's lose... Oh, hell, let's lose some books. Okay, it says a bolt shoots out and hits a shield, so let's just get out of this chamber. Let's lose... What weighs the most? Seven potions of curing? Excellent. How about we only have three of those? That's fine with me. As long as I hang on to my bonus wands of heal wounds, I should be fine. Okay, there's that last spell level I was after. Dig. And now I can lose both the dig wands. Well, at least one of the dig wands. And uh, the Book of Stalking and the Book of Unlife. Because Book of Unlife has nothing of note, right? Actually, which of these gives me recall? It's probably the Book of Unlife, isn't it? Yep, it is. We're going to hang on to that because recall could prove useful in the long run. Um... It'll be a while till we get we're at that point, but you know, till then. Blew up the phoenix. <laughs> it splashed because its chunks flew into the water. That's great. Make sure I have a dragon handy. Don't need a flock necessarily. Even one or two will do. But flock is just you know when you have ten turns to wait, you might as well make ten dragons, right? Blew the phoenix into pieces. Apis, where the hell are you? There you are. Another Apis. It's a piss is what it is. Alright. Reason I'm training my armor is twofold. Firstly, because I do intend to eventually wear better armor. Even if I can't get the uh, the Holy Grail that I'm looking for with Pearl Dragon, I can still at least wear this uh, Fire Dragon armor. And have a big advantage. And all it will take is training my myself to a reasonable degree of armor training. Okay, I'm running low on mana. Crystal ball and keeping the fight. So yeah, crystal balling for energy is basically one of the most clutch core components of a post-game build. I don't actually want any of these. I wouldn't mind the Scroll of Torment, though, if it's, like, easy to carry. Sometimes you're around enemies that can be tormented, and I'm a lich now, so torment don't hurt me none. That said, far more often than not, my enemies can't be tormented either, which is why I went lich in the first place, because they could torment me. <laughs> anyway, that's an opus. That's a dragon, that's some melee range orbs, and a few more firestorms just to sweeten the deal. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and fire some orbs at you. Firestorm you. And then bolt of fire to finish the job. job. Uh, no, 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 no. A dragon. Three dragons ought to finish you very nicely. I'll fry you on the water, Mr. Apis, sir. Yeah, how the hell has Holdy not become its own branch? I don't know. It's so much fun. I guess part of the reason it's so fun is it's so exotic. Half these enemies are barely seen anywhere else. Ooh, Elivalin, are you getting all pissy because I'm killing your innocent natural creatures? You better. Why don't you go ahead and hiss how dare you all you want and wag your finger with all your mothery inducing, mother, in, motherly in, guilt-inducing tactics. See how it works on a heartless, soulless lich who grew up as a stabber before becoming one of the most powerful casters ever known. 
Yeah, you can tell why I need to write these in advance so that they don't sound terrible. Alright, why don't you dragons just finish that angel off for me while I make more of you. Once again we fly over the water and through the woods. To grandma's house we go. Okay, now what? Oh! Second pearl dragon. Excellent. He's already awake. Less than excellent. Uh, let's attempt to use fire uh, vortices to hold him inside the chamber. Perfect. The pearl dragon is down. He did not leave a hide. Rat bastard. This is definitely the healer's domain. You can tell by the fact that there's one, two, three, four, five potions of curing. Good god, woman. Get over yourself. There's also a potion of mutation, which I'm going to drink. Uh, dex minus 1, dex minus 2, strength plus 1, plus 10% MP. Damn. That's just excellent mutations all around. I, I, I obviously need more strength than I need uh, more dex at this point. So, oh, I can't force my flying to end. Just let it end by nature. Okay. Uh, I will take this set of mutations. Hell, I'm not even going to cure out of it unless something forces me to. The best part of having so many mutations is uh, you're that much less likely to get mutated again for every new mutation, right? Oh, I need to put dig on it, the correct letter. should be on N. You're that much less likely to get mutated again for each new mutation you have, so it acts as a semi-barrier against unwanted mutations. And, of course, I have the real barrier, which is I'm a lich and therefore immune to mutations. But even if that lich form should drop, I'm still relatively protected. Oh, this is too sick. Found a little cache of paladins and is like, what is it, the paladin bunk beds? The paladin inn? Paladin inn! <laughs> uh, I'll let my health continue to grow. It's not going to ever become high, but can be a little bit less low. It's the only protection I'll ever have against Hellfire, so it's worth getting it up to snuff. Or at least getting it to snuff levels. Could snuff out my life pretty easily otherwise if it wasn't even up to the snuff point. Okay. Shidu. more than a little bit irritating that I still haven't found that pearl dragon armor that I wanted. Killed two pearl dragons that really should have done the trick. It usually does, too, but not this time, I guess. Uh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? All these are semi-valuable, except maybe this giant stack of curing potions that I don't need. Of course, my third, uh, uh, third wand of teleportation isn't exactly my most prized possession either. You know, all of these are unimportant. I'm just a pack rat. Okay, right, well, according to this, we've explored just about everything. So... No pearl dragon armor. Any armor in general? Not really. Okay. There are still some enemies la lagging about that I could potentially blast pieces, but it's not like I have to. I think what I'd like to do is check what my spell casting looks like with my new armor on, so let's do that. Uh, show me the way out, please. Now drop... Oh, it's cursed on, right. Okay, remove curse on the troll leather armor for sure, and that should about do it. Okay, that hurt my stealth and dodging. But only a little. My evade is still 41. Okay. Now try on the fire dragon armor. Uh, my spells go down to basically uncastable. Um, necromutation is fine, but 16% is a serious fail margin, and 56% is just not acceptable. And that's with a wizardry rank. So, that said, looking at my uh, list of protections... Fire 3 and Ice 1 uh, looks really good. 
AC24 compared to with the troll leather of plus 4, which was AC21. And when you remember that I can up that by an additional 5, yes, I think this is the build I'm going to go for. Fire Dragon Armor in the end. And I don't have any of it lying around the, the dungeon, apparently, so uh, I will carry this with me and get it out of pan, eventually. Uh, so let's make sure that I'm all changed back. Get out of fly mode, because I don't want to have to be reliant on flight just to carry my shit. Any cure mutation potions I left behind? No. Any restorability potions I left behind? No. Okay, good. So holy pan has been cleared to my satisfaction. Armor... Uh, actually, what kind of armor am I looking for? I'm looking for... Not even looking for a shield, really. I'm just looking for cloaks, I guess. Actually, let's let's look for this artifact armor. Artifact and armor. There's three different really cool looking shields uh, and a nice ring mail here, but like a dex plus one, in plus four ring mail ain't bad. But uh, it's all it's all like unwearable stuff. So we're just gonna get out of here. Problem with being a Spriggan, you don't really get to enjoy the end post end game loot very much. It's a lot worse for cats, though. I mean, they have the worst, obviously. Hey, I managed to get uh, a whole lot of good mutations going while I was here. That's certainly a plus. Next area, you have a vision of multiple gates. No kidding. We should see the gates. There's a way out. That's nice. And that's all I'm seeing right now. Let's, you know what? Let's finish up uh, with just getting out of pan. And that will be where I end the video. Oh, and there's the gate to the abyss. So that might, must have been what I didn't notice before. So let's just go ahead and get out of pan. And then I'll end my video there. Because holy pan takes a while to get through and it's kind of meritorious of its own run. Um, once I'm out, I'll... Oh, we don't need wands of digging anymore. Oh, and we don't need a bolt of fire anymore either. Your services are no longer required. Unfortunately, it, recur it occurs to me that this means I don't have a solid bolt spell, which might be nice to fix in the distant future. There's a pan lord in there, along with his cronies. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and get my cronies online. All of them. Sorry about that. That's about enough cronies for the moment. Go ahead and toss out uh, a dig wall. And then we'll start blow- uh, fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Wow, that guy must have decent fire resistance or something, because he did not take much damage. Very resistant. Yep, so probably two tiers worth. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! I mean, I have nothing better to do, so might as well, right? And the thing is, even though it looks like I'm just pegging the same one guy, I'm tossing these deep enough that uh, probably others are get dying inside. And Ritu dies. Got too close to my dragons. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say there was probably more enemies inside there before my fire in the hole tactics went off. Alright, let's go ahead and just blow our way through the floor just for the sake of thoroughness and finishing our exploration, and then we'll get out of here. Because we know where the exit is now, and that's all we need. Although, now that I think about it, I already know that what the, whatever's on this floor, it's not going to be... I, mean, I guess it could be artifact shit, so you know it could be something valuable to me. But more likely than not, it's just going to be a few dinky enemies, some less than dinky enemies. I, I have it on good authority from Ashen Zari himself that there is no uh, ziggurats that I'm missing. So yeah, this is basically all I'm going to find on the floor. To think that earlier on I was trying to avoid using Firestorm because, you know, it was unreliable and it might not even go off. Now I'm using Orb of Destruction because it's convenient, not because I have to. Alright, that's the floor. Out we go. We are out of pan. Uh, awesome. What we're gonna do is uh, take a quick moment to get our shit together. Find, uh, figure out what we're dropping before we head back in. And then we'll go back inside. Ooh, 1313 Scythe of Curses. No wonder this place is its own mini vault. Right out. So that's the plan, tentatively. 
Uh, and when we get back next time, that's what we're going to get started on. Uh, Armor will continue training to get us ready for the eventual Earth Dragon Switch. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.